Hello, welcome back to, well, welcome to session 12. Now, I'm actually quite somber because this is the last session of the home buying course. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I always want feedback on what I can do better and what's, uh, what things you guys want to know about real estate, about finance, personal finance, everything. I'm here to be of support and uh, send me suggestions on future videos, future series. I want to make sure you guys' questions are being answered and I'm providing lots of equity and lots of value in your life. So send me suggestions, Instagram, there are probably a couple things that'll pop up right now that are gonna show you how to contact me. I'm ready to answer questions and discover more and more and learn more and more with all of you guys. So session 12, closing costs, let's do it once and for all. Closing costs in a really easy way are the costs that make the mortgage people money. They're the costs that everyone needs to have their salary paid to go home with their families and to enjoy their home. So there are a bunch of different ones. I'm gonna go through them rapid fire. Origination fees for underwriting and creating the mortgage. Points, uh, money you pay up front to have a lower interest rate. Appraisal fees, inspection fees, mortgage and recording taxes. There, those are only for some places. Title fees, title insurance, recording it with the county clerk or whatever system you guys have, escrow for closing it, property taxes you may have to pay, and lastly, homeowner's insurance. Those are all the different closing costs. There's a ton, so let's dive in onto some of the different ones. Before I go any further, this is the wild, wild west out here in America. Everything is negotiable. So just because they charge $9.99 to underwrite the loan or whatever the price is, the probably percentage of the loan, that doesn't mean you have to pay it, theoretically. You can ask them to, if you want to close this loan, I need to pay this much. Will you guys work with me? Or obviously shopping around to different lenders. There's no set in stone way that the processing fees are by law. These are ones that they make up internally in each organization. So it might be useful negotiating with the lender you want to go with or shopping around for different lenders to figure out how to save most on the closing costs because who wants to pay more in processing fees? Not me. So a few days, maybe a week before you end up closing officially on the home, the lender is going to give you a closing disclosure document. This document should match completely congruent with the initial one they gave you. If there are any discrepancies, I would call them, write this second and ask what's going on there because there may be some clerical errors that need to be adjusted for. And that is uh, something that needs to be adjusted and made right, obviously. Cheers! You have officially completed session 12 of the home buying course. I'm very somber that this ending, but I'll, I'm also excited because now I'm finally ready to move on to something different. I hope this has brought some equity and some value to you. This is not a farewell goodbye by any means. If you need to review the other sessions, please go back and review them. They'll be up. On the, on the blog and also on YouTube, so please look at those. Um, I'm here to support you in your specific process. I can't you know, buy the house for you or help you save it by any means, but I can help you create strategies on diving deeper on this. And I love real estate. I think it's a way to have significant financial freedom. I think the reason uh, it exists is to create financial freedom and have a place to live. I love how each home is very unique. Everything is different. Nothing is exactly the same. Even if it's a cookie cutter home, the backyard is probably different. So with that being said, this is not farewell, goodbye. I want suggestions. What next series do you guys want to hear from? Should it be real estate? Should it be budgeting, personal finance? These areas I love and work in every single day at the job I completely enjoy. So I am here to encourage, empower, and enrich your life. Please let me know any suggestions. Any questions on anything in the sessions that was unclear, please let me know. I may have to make a, uh, a uh, abridged and more uh, specific uh, video on different ones. So anyway, I feel super blessed to have finished this course with you guys. Um, if you made it all the way to session 12 and finished, congratulations. You are now super, super well informed on the home buying process that's um, going to be super advantageous for you going forward. So cheers, congratulations. See you guys in the next series. 
any questions, please let me know. There's going to be so many different links throughout this last little bit on how to contact me. I'm here to support you, here to encourage you, and most likely here to be the cheerleader having the pom-poms when you succeed. So have a great week, a great day. Get outside. It's beautiful. If it's summertime, if it's winter, don't go outside. It's probably snowing or raining. But anyway, enjoy the week. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. Please let me know any feedback. Have a great, 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 great rest of the day.